Hey, what's up, guys? Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where you from? The name's, uh, Sonny Crockett. I'm one of you guys. Don't you recognize me? No. Come on. What's the dope? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Yes. Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving until you show me some boner fides. What? Did he just say boner? I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? Since when do they have modern guns? Your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> That's because he is one. But kids know better. He's an asshole. So, uh, yeah, go up here. Hey, Artie. Artie, he's back. Um, okay, end this song. Come on, sprint, Artie. Oh, I need to press my Windows key there. If I did that, then uh, I would have messed up the recording. Okay. Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Okay, I'll just go through all of these. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Officer Parker reformed. He has? Really? Uh, soon. Just you wait. Hmm. Uh, what was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? We have weird music tastes. Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and, and start to care. Bad. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name, reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You Kill should me now, care. guys. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Uh. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's, uh got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. Okay. You know, Trixie Trotter sings a song that sounds a lot like your You Should Care. She does? Yeah, but hers is a little more carefree. That's what you get when you sing for booze hounds and gangsters. What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. 
So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. Yeah, that is good, actually. What's Kid Tannen been up to for the last two months? Didn't you hear? It was in all the papers. I've been, uh, traveling. Well, the feds were all set to arrest Tannen on tax evasion charges. Seems they'd gotten Tannen's books from his accountant. I heard something about that, yeah. Well, the accountant disappeared, unsurprisingly. But the feds still thought they had a case. After all, they still had the books, right? Right. Wrong. The day before the trial, the books up and vanished right out of the court's evidence locker. No. Lots of fingers were pointed, but honestly, the whole town's so corrupt that it could have been anyone. Court clerks, cops, janitors. <sighs> okay, I'm bored. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Go back in there. Welcome back, sir. Looks like Parker's still parked. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Trixie, look over there. Why? Why is everyone so gullible? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. And they're also quite dumb. How did she not see that those are different lyrics? I can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. All right. So now what? Now I wait. Wait for the moment to take down Kid Tannen, restore my good name, and win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do right now. Uh, yeah. So what do I do? Okay. So. Um, should I leave this for next time? Uh, I think I've been recording for about 10 minutes, so I can record for a little bit longer. Um... Oh yeah, right, I need to find Einstein, I think. I better check in with Sonny, you're just in time. So uh thanks for watching Einstein while I've been uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. It's almost as if he's been working with me for years. More like decades. What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one-quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio-controlled car? No. Well, yes, but there'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? 
Yes, that argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full-time to a life of science. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, we're gonna see some serious cow flop. Hmm. Einstein! Oh, get him out of here! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. Go see if I can find something to help or someone. Um, I think I'll leave this for next time. So, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.